The star, the lovers, five of wands, three of swords, four of wands. Okay. So, a love story breaks down and shatters. But the hero is still on their way. The journey is not over, the search is not over, the quest for true love is not over. It has only just begun. What is yet another heartache? What is yet another heartbreak? When we get to learn so much, and gather stories to tell. This is now added to your story. It's not that there's no hero in her sky. It's just, they haven't quite arrived yet. They're on their way dealing with their own failed romance, romances. Good thing is, hope is not gone. Faith and love is not gone, interestingly enough. For you, dear Scorpio, how was your birthday? Welcome to December. I mean, your spirit is just naturally in love with passion and with the story. It's almost like happy ending, bad ending, does it even matter? The story is so passionate and juicy and expansive and tormenting. Oh my gosh, what a Scorpio intro. Thank you guys, you always bring out the drama flair in me. Wheel of Fortune. You guys can make extraordinary actors, especially like Shakespearean roles. A Shakespearean actor is a very Scorpio archetype. Life is changing for you this month, Scorpio. From the inside out, gut-wrenching change. Oh, how glorious. You're not scared. I'm not scaring you. Anyone else I would have said that to? Any other sign would be like, you? You're like, yeah, I knew it. Or like, yeah, well, I brought it. I, I wrote that. You don't scare me. 
I'm not trying to scare you. Is it, is it even possible? There is a change in the wind for the group, for the dynamic, for the relationship, for the community. It's inevitable. You feel it. You feel it as I speak. There's a small breeze coming in from the window. And you walk outside and you see the leaves on the tree move. It's not just standard moments for you. You see it there. You sense it. You smell it. Maybe you are the hero about to enter their sky. Page of Cups. The trees speak. You don't need me to tell you that trees communicate underground with this infinite web of communication. It's like an under, it's un, the underworld wide web. See what I did there? Underworld, world wide web. You inherently understand that. Because when something happens in the distance, just like when a tree knows that a tree is being burned down by a fire in the other side of the forest, I'm not saying anything is going to be burned down, but I am saying just like that, you can already sense, you can already know how something that is happening in the distance is about to affect you. Something is changing over there, but we're not exempt. The butterfly effect, it's about to reach here. It's just a matter of time. And you're about to understand that right now, you can't scatter outside of you figuring out what it is that you need to do. You need to go within and figure out what you truly want. The next step of the journey the answer is inside, not outside. Seven of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. If you seek the answer outside, you'll only get confused. The road signs are blurry. It's in order to get you to go in. And kind of dig and nitpick in your own psyche and in your own system and break it down what is it that you actually want and then from there make decisions is it about a move a home okay what do i really want from a home from a neighborhood from my neighbors from the weather from the environment In today's political terrain, it really matters who's the governor and who's the mayor. It used to not matter as much because things weren't so extreme, but now things are very, very polarized and extreme. And if you live in a place that contradicts the, the essentials of what you need, it could, it is, it affects your daily life. Apply that to anything. Relationships, love, maybe it has been an adventure. Painful or exciting, doesn't matter. But right now, you need to really figure out what is it that you want for yourself and for your future? What is it that you're trying to build on your own? So what kind of a partner do you need beside you? What kind of a boss? What kind of a support system? It's time to get more meticulous in the story that you are narrating to match your actual life because many of you, to you, you know, you're narrating a story and then you fit your life to it. Now you need, because, because it's interesting and fascinating and expansive and you're not scared. And even if you don't know that you're doing it consciously, you're doing it subconsciously your entire life. Now it's time to do it the other way around, to fit the narrative to you. 
because now you have a more specific sense of self. Life has broke you down once again, but this time, this one, this one was one too many. And it might not be bigger than other things that you've endured. It might not be more intense, more traumatic. You look at it and you're like, well, I've, I've went through worse. Why is this affecting me so much in a way that worse things in the past didn't? Because you're different now. Because you're no longer only in tuned with your soul, higher self that is here for you know the experience of life good or bad doesn't matter now you're more in tune with your actual actual human heart so in the past if you used to dismiss your human heart because well the spirit was more dominant and it's like yeah it's painful but look at what we've learned and look at how much more powerful we are now experience and cool yeah cool 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 counts for you guys you like being cool it's okay who doesn't now it's like you don't care and that that is your biggest spiritual leap thus far what by minding my human avatar 3d heart and not as much my the experiences of my soul taking it personally and not looking at everything as one big adventure that i can handle because i'm a scorpio yes because you came here for a reason we all are here for a reason this human heart is your highest spiritual experience and it's the closest thing to god All the rest was the way to get here. Because yes, we learn and we expand from all experiences, good and bad. It's all spiritual, right? And we're kind of detaching ourselves because we're stoic like that from our own emotions. And spiritual. We're stoic and spiritual. Yeah, I feel it intensely, but it's not hurting me. Right, you're a Scorpio. I get it. I understand. I know I do. I'm not being sarcastic. It's, it's nature for you. But the nature of our zodiac sign isn't our goal. It's the path. It's, it's, it's the tools that we're given to reach the goal. So, you know, going through the, the narratives and the stories, miraculous or traumatizing, that has been your path to enlightenment and to finding your true spiritual connection. It wasn't the goal that you were just living by. You weren't there. You were on your way. But now, now that you're sitting down and actually considering how the next person or the next place of work or living situation or adventure will affect you, your heart, your body, your mind, your psyche, Will it be good for you? Will it be easy for you? Or will it be another crazy blow? That, that is not your weakness. That is not you suddenly losing your power. No, that is you finally tapping into your power after a lifetime of thinking you're already there. because unconditional love to the self and absolute compassion and acknowledgement of your own heart the direct portal to God all the books all the scriptures all the divination all the philosophies and theologies all of those things 
brilliant languages, but they're not the essence of the words. Love, ahava, amour. Different words to say love. But are they the actual sensation of love? So all of these expansive experiences that you've gone through and endured were such fascinating, wonderful languages to get to know the various of ways to express heart, to express who you are in the world. But now that you're sitting down and actually considering how something will affect you truly in here, not the ideology, not the story, not the goal, not the hero's journey, not the, uh, the God that you're worshiping, not the prophet that you're following, not the philosophy, not the tarot, not the astrology, not me, not anyone. not how the path to spirituality will acknowledge you. Are you a good student or not? No, but actually you, how will you feel entering that place? Are you going to feel yucky and gunky, but you're just doing it for the idea? In the past, you would have done that. Right? You would have done that for the experience, for the adventure, for the ideal, for the sacrifice, for the promise, for the oath. And you would have completely ignored how you actually feel. It didn't matter. But now that it matters, now that you're actually sitting there and being like, I think I'm not going to go there because it makes me feel like shit right now and I'm not in the mood. This is it. I'm not kidding. This is your arrival. Yes, you can handle misery more than anyone. But that doesn't mean you're supposed to be miserable. And having your mind and spirit happy because they're learning, expanding, experiencing, as your heart is miserable, that's still miserable. So don't tell me, oh no, not miserable. My mind is, you know, it's, it's exactly what I'm supposed to meant to be. My spirit is like really expanding right now, but your heart is crying like a little freaking baby. Here we go, the Fool and the Two of Pentacles. Really? Actual freedom is a dilemma for you, Scorpio? Why, what's the alternative? What's the important alternative? You think there's something more important? The Fool pretty much summarized everything I just said about your ability, your extraordinary ability to go through life and experience different experiences and archetypes and become different things um, in ways of learning life. And I think the fool is here to say you've done that. You've done that well. And of course, it's never over. But the core journey of it, you've done it. From here on, if you can, do, if you continue doing things you don't necessarily want to do just because you know it's something that you've never done before, it won't be for your actual spiritual journey. It will be out of habit, out of addiction. The next journey, your next spiritual journey, is outside the the board that you've been on so far. Okay, 
So let's say, let's imagine that you've been playing chess until now and you've been playing every single position possible, strategy possible, you've been the different sides, you've been the different pawns. So the next part isn't another type of strategy or soldier or pawn on the chessboard. The next chapter is outside that board. It's not that game. It's different. It's, it's below. The, the chessboard is on a table. You've been playing on that table with the rules and regulations of spiritual expansion, experiences of life, good and bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next thing is the space underneath the table. That's the empty matter. That's where God truly is. That's what holds everything. That's what creates life, births life, and gets demonized to be darkness and evil. Okay. Of course, wisdom is always attributed to evil. Because evil itself doesn't want you to be wise. So it gaslights you. But you're just not there anymore because you've been through the gaslighting. You've been gaslighted. You've been gaslighting others for sure. Scorpio, don't, don't do this with me. You can't play that game with me. I see right through you. I know you, Scorpio. I know Scorpios. I don't think someone knows Scorpios like I do. Well, that was arrogant. I'm sure there are others who understand Scorpio archetype, but I'm just saying I understand Scorpios. I know how you think. I know what makes you tick. I know your light. I know your darkness. You're a master of gaslighting. It's not to say you haven't been gaslighted as well. It's not to say that you haven't been on the other side of it. Many of you have. That's why you know how to do it so well. Many of you grew up extraordinarily sensitive children, right? That feel everything and, and understand why people do what they do and you catch people by their lies and you're like, mommy, that's a lie, you're lying. But she needs you to do whatever it is that she needs you to do so she's gonna gaslight you. Maybe she's abusive, maybe she's not abusive at all. Maybe it's just what parents do and kids aren't don't have the EQ enough to recognize that, but you recognize that. You recognize that the world gaslights you all the time. And they'll say in retrospect that it was, you know, to, to, to spare you, to protect you, to save you, to just get you to eat breakfast and go to school. It could be as simple as that. But mommy, I don't like to eat this dead animal. I think there's poison in it and also it's dead and I would like for it to be alive. Because mommy, I love animals. No, no, no. No, sweetie. No. This animal is meant to feed you. And what you saw or what you read or what you're feeling right now, it's not legitimate. You're being overly sensitive. And it's not that you're being empathic and sensitive and wonderful and angelic and still close to source because you just got out of there. No, you're just confused in the ways of the world. You just haven't learned the ways of the world yet. No, you, you've learned the ways of the world. You just came from the ether. You just transitioned from one lifetime to the other as a kid. You were literally there. You saw it all so clearly. You felt it all so clear. So now when you're facing this plane and you're like, you understand how inherently corrupt and wrong and horrible this is. No, no, you just don't know the ways of the world yet. It's okay. They're meant for this and it's different. No, it's not like your dog, baby. No, it's not like your kitten. No, 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 that's different. That's different. And I'm just giving that example because I'm sensitive about it and so should you and so should everyone. Okay? But it could be anything. So... Everyone gaslit the shit out of you growing up. You you felt it, you knew it, you saw it right through it. You were like, no, 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 I know it's wrong, I know it's wrong. But at one point, it hurt so much, you just couldn't handle it because it's from everywhere. So you flipped, 
flipped the switch and you became this creature that you know you're either in a dynamic where someone gaslights you or you're in a dynamic where you gaslight the other when does it end it ends here when you don't dismiss it as another experience but you see right through it just like when you were a kid you see right through the situation you see right through the chessboard you see that the soldiers on this side and the soldier on this side they're all playing the same game they're, they're both the same only from the other polar end but you know the horse can can walk like this whether it's the black soldier and he can walk like this if it's the white soldier both ho horses operate on the same mechanism and the queen operates on the same mechanism the king can only move one square they operate on the same mechanism it doesn't matter on each side they are a real badass scorpio is sitting right now watching the news and sees how both pol polar opposites are the same both are tyrannical in their own right and both are calling for freedom in their own right except that instead of both of them calling for freedom to all on all fields they're just fighting for the freedom that they believe in that they freedom for for them doing what it is that they want to do that fits their agenda and both are being tyrannical in different topics they will fight to suppress something that they're scared of both sides right now are suppressing the things that they're scared of it's just different things that they're scared of and both sides are fighting for the freedoms of what they're not scared of it just so happens to be different things but it's the same mechanism right and this is when you stop and you look around you at all the players and you're like i can't believe i've been part of this game and i thought i was being spiritual and i was fighting for this fighting for that for this cause for this idea for this righteousness for i wrote this so if you're saying this quote me nothing blinds our sense of truth as much as our sense of righteousness and here you are in the space underneath the table and above the table where truth is and you're looking at everyone quarreling for their righteousness and you're like what the fuck am i doing here how did i get here what is happening and you just want out and that's okay you can this is the enlightenment this is the moment where you get it you got it exit stage you realize that so far you've just been playing the game you've just been playing a game you just changed characters more than others many people stay one character or change different characters they're like in one position they're one pawn in the in the game you okay you change you've been this you've been this you've been this you've been the black soldier you've been the white soldier you've been the horse you've been the the the, the queen you've been whatever i know how to say their names in hebrew not not so much uh, in english never mind and you realize that even though you've been all these characters which means that you're very talented and very smart and very capable and have attained a variety of skills wow still you've been playing the game you weren't the narrator someone else has been writing this and pulling the strings and now you see it and now people will call you a conspiracy theorist and it has nothing to do with just today's terrain although as well it's just how it is historically go back in time every blower i have to do that um in history that we read about that has made a significant change for the better was alarmingly called either crazy or a conspiracy theories always 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 always
So however it plays out for you in your life right now, be ready to be one of them, one of those. CT. What, you think the players on the chess game will s s watch you like floating in the ether or hanging out underneath the table that they don't even know that they're on? They don't know that the, the, the field that they're playing on is on a table that is on a floor, that is in a building, that is on a ground outside. As big as we are, there's always something bigger holding us. Often invisible to us. So they'll see you floating there or they'll sense you floating there and then they'll point at you. Because if being so outside of their game, they can't, you, they can't let you be great. They can't let you be wise. They can't let you be good. Because then they think in polarity, right? They're still in the game of po polarities. They're still playing the game of polarities. So everything is polar. So if you're divine quote-unquote, enlightened, quote-unquote, wise, knowledgeable, get it, whatever, then that inevitably in their mind means that they have to be the opposite. And they can't have that. They have to be the good person because they're fighting for, the, they're on the side of the good, fighting the bad right now on this chessboard, right? So, so you're outside, outside. So if you're good, they must be bad. You're not in their team. You're not right here next to them. Puppeteered. Be ready for that. Nine of Wands. It's not going to be easy. Look, it doesn't matter when you're watching this video, which topic this applies to in your life, you know, what you're certain that I'm, that I'm talking about. The soon you acknowledge that you might be looked at as audacious devil, the better. Because then it will hurt less. Because remember, we care about your heart. So with that, okay, what do we do if we care about our heart? We've got to what? Find other things to kind of smooth it out, to make you feel great. Find your tribe. Find your people. Find people you can talk to about this, like-minded people. Get out of SM. I'm not saying go rogue and outside and go dark no you can just you can be on these platforms i'm on, I'm on these platforms they're, they're they they have a lot of good to them okay they have a lot of good to them but you gotta set clear boundaries strict clear boundaries in ways where you're able to use these platforms in a beneficial connecting way and not be swallowed by them So don't try to find those like-minded people necessarily over on those platforms because those platforms are part of the chess game. You're either here or you're there. And if you're here, you're not going to be able to see, or, to see or read this. And if you're here, you're not going to be able to see or read this. The rules of the mechanism are very, very clear. It won't allow it. It won't allow intermingling of the two pol polarities. You will just stay in the same cycle. And it's going to lead nowhere. Find real people to have real conversations with over the phone or on a cup of coffee, tea. It's really important. Um, I'm going to continue this for a little bit here. Um, just to note that I'm going to also continue this reading as a love reading. Ten of Swords, yay, this is great. I'm going to explain. I'm going to continue this reading as a love reading. I'm going to look into uh, your love life for this month, you and your person of interest, um, how 
things are, how things unfold, the dynamic, etc. We'll also finish up with messages from the Celtic runes. It's available on Patreon and on Vimeo. Um, check the description box below. Over there you'll also find Tarot Masterclass Bunkai if you want to study tarot for me while going through a shamanic and spiritual journey with me. Um, you will also find Karmic Shift and Liberation. Check out the special North and South Node project that I've done for all the signs. It's here on YouTube for free. Um, very important at this time. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you to my channel members. You guys make this possible. I'm very grateful for you. If anyone of my seekers out there want to also comment and say thank you to, to our patrons who, who allow me to keep doing this, you know, they enable people who can't afford it to watch this for free. So those of you who are supportive of my journey, thank you. And of the existential shift, thank you. Uh, those of you who wish to, just check out Patreon and, 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 the, and channel membership options, two different options. On Patreon, you get tons of, of, of content. Tons. Okay? All the, all the extendeds for all the signs, runes, lunar spirit messages, all the karmic shift and liberation for unlimited streaming, all of it, present and past. You can scroll back in time. Okay, Ten of Swords. This game is over. This game that you've been on, it's over. It's been a karmic game. It's been a spiritual game. It's been a game of romance, whatever. This game is over. You're, you're prepared for the next game. 2022 is going to be a, a different level. A whole other level. Okay? Alright, I'll see you in a second. Subscribe if you're new.